Ah, good morning everybody, how's it going? My name is Waddles and welcome back to the Minecraft Guide World. Today, look at the top right. Oh boy, the guy, the, the player himself has figured it out. You wanna know how I fixed it? You know, the, the issue from last episode? Uh, well, <laughs> I gave it some time. So, um, last episode we took out a raid, but there's a catch, spoiler alert, meet the video here if you don't wanna know. Um, I beat it, but I didn't, um, like, like, the raid bar wasn't going away, and, yeah, so there was, like, no true victory, but I, I guess we have it, because we have the hero of the village effect, our banners are still posted up over here, this villager is worshipping it, and I think it's time that we break inside of this farm and see if these villagers are thankful or if they don't care. <laughs> um, and I realized too, in editing my, my last episode, there's a lot of ruined land in here. These guys were freaking out probably and, and trampling it, but free stuff. Villagers, what are you doing? I saved your lives, you know. Um, you're meant to throw prizes to champion. Uh, me? <laughs> uh, okay, fine. I, you know I don't want your free carrots. I don't need your free... Uh, what's your job? You're a farmer. You're you're a cleric. I don't want rotten flesh. I I don't remember what the other one throws. <laughs> Probably not rotten flesh. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I don't need free things. I am rich. Oh, yeah. Uh, but anyways, today is going to be a redstone day. It's finally just about time that we set up some sort of auto sorting system on our giant mob farm, the thing that keeps overflowing, so then hopefully I don't ever need to, to really worry about it at least getting backed up again. Eventually we may have more like bones and zombie flesh that we can store over there and that's fine, we can move it somewhere else, but yeah, it's time to start doing some auto sorting stuff. So. For auto sorting, you will definitely need a lot of hoppers and you'll need a fair amount of redstone. For what I'm doing, uh, we'll be needing some packed ice and then some dispenser. So, this is a singular. <laughs> I need two. I need two dispensers for what I think I have in mind as well to speed things up. So, or a dropper would work too. They're pretty much the same thing. Dropper, dispenser. That's cool. That's good. That's fine. Um, uh, then I think we also need some signs. Uh, do we, <laughs> do we have chests that work? Yes, we have lots of signs there. So, let's go ahead and move over to the build area and, um, get building, but also, but before we start building, I need to do one more disclaimer. Uh, before doing large auto sorting projects, I definitely recommend having a lot of iron in your world. If you're running low on iron, then build an iron farm like what we built behind the trees that you can't see, and it's over there. Build an iron farm and then come back to this project because... Yeah, depending on how you want to do it, uh, you'll need a lot of iron. Now, us, on the other hand, we have a lot of iron, but we're actually going to conserve some iron, too. So, first, the goal. Well, uh, we have this thing in the sky, which is wonderful, and it fills this chest up very, very fast. The plan is to have an individual sorting chest for arrows, for bones, for uh, rotten flesh, string, uh, gunpowder, and then I guess like an overflow for all of this stuff, just random things at the end. And yeah, I think that's how that'll work. So uh, now I'd like to have a storage wall over here, kind of. I guess backed up to our auto smelter over there so we basically first need to figure out how we can get items from here over to there efficiently now of course we could just run a hopper line because we actually have like a lot of iron but that's not really efficient there's a definitely a better way to do that and that's where we should definitely start today's episode ghost blocks i love them <laughs> uh there we go okay so we've broken into this area uh now we need to go ahead and do i think i'd like to do um let's say this and this we'll remove those two then we'll go ahead and remove that and remove that then uh some of this as well and this and this and uh, uh that and that okay so let's start with um placing this <laughs> uh we need dropper dispenser thing and we need hoppers 
Oh, and you probably also need a block to do redstone on. We'll use stone or stone bricks today. How about that? That sounds nice. So I don't ever mess with my redstone when I'm digging in this area because I plan on definitely coming back in here and remodeling things if we don't end up doing that today. So some redstone blocks. Now, first we need to place a dropper facing out. Uh, we, we need the dropper to go this way there we go then we need a hopper going into that dropper now behind the dropper we're actually setting up the exact same circuit that we set up a few episodes ago when we were doing our iron farm so we need to place a comparator and turn it on just like that then we'll need a block there um hold on <laughs> all right let's try that again so start with a comparator coming out of your dropper or your dispenser and then turn it on then after that place a building block and a redstone dust after that we need another building block and a redstone dust then we need a block right there which we already have and a block right here now after that on the last one i did a comparator right here but i think and this is big thing here i but i think i can place a repeater uh, like this no no um <laughs> like that there we go and then there yes we can do a repeater so that's good repeaters are a little cheaper than comparators so now we have that circuit set up now we need to replicate the exact same thing on the other side so we need um dropper or dispenser whichever one you are this time and then that thing and then clear this out and i need to build that exact same circuit so again comparator place click um now we need building block messy inventory place uh, remove place <laughs> and then uh, another block here uh that thing there and then we need this thing here that thing there and then there okay so that should work too right um yes it does okay good so this is how we'll move the items out of this immediate area like basically the collection area now what we need to do is uh, create a way to actually move these items over to where we want to store them which is over here we can do this very very easily with either a hoppers or b even easier an ice path so what I mean by this is basically we'll be using water and ice to move our items uh, faster and cheaper <laughs> than, than our hoppers ever could. No offense, hoppers. You're wonderful and very useful and, and many other good things. But yeah, they're, they're just kind of expensive and slow. So uh, what we want to basically do is create uh, an ice path that goes over to where we want to store our things, but all the way over to one side of where we want to store our things so what i mean by that is i think our whole storage thing will go probably from like here all the way over to wherever it goes and that means our ice path thing needs to go probably to like here I, uh, am i in line no uh probably to like here aha there we go so We'll have our ice go to there, then we'll turn it and move our items that way. So that means we turn the ice road and, yeah, continue it this way. Now, I don't think I necessarily finished my ice road, but after placing the ice road, we'll need water and sign. So we place a water source down, we let it go, and then we place a sign. This is just like what we did on that villager transport road, except this time, this road will actually move items like very, very efficiently. So we have water sign, then after that, we would do another water, uh, but we're right on the turn already. So what we're going to do is this and then a second sign and uh, we'll test it and see if our items would actually be moved. So, oh, I'm too close. Oh, and that. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're going to have to put some walls on this things too. Um... All right, does the dirt? Okay, the dirt does make it over, so we can do that, that's good. So that's how we'll turn our items and move them all the way over to wherever we need them to go. Now, at the end of this, which I'm not sure where the end will be quite yet, I don't know if we've gone far enough yet, but at the end, we'll need a soul sand elevator to move the items up because we want our item storage thing to be not underground, but above ground where we can kind of just walk right up to it and grab whatever we need out of the thing. Oh, 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 I completely forgot. By the way, I have the hero of the village effect, which means 
big discounts. Oh, I forgot in the beginning. <laughs> you see, before each episode, I kind of think about, okay, so I should do this and this and this and this. And one of those things was to see if this effect transfers over to this village over here. I don't know if it will, but uh, do you guys have markdown prices? Are, are you selling? Yes, you do. Oh boy, that's huge. That means we can build a raid farm over in this general area, uh, use it, and then come over to the trading hall soon and trade for great prices. That is amazing. So uh, we'll jump down here and to start things off, to make this water elevator, we place a dirt block and then we need to go and, and place a sign and then I guess another sign so we can get into it. And then way at the top of this thing, we need a water source. Now. I'd like to answer this question that I saw a lot of, well, you know what, uh, hold on. <laughs> uh, I don't want water to spill everywhere over here, so I'm going to go ahead and climb back up here and I think close this off a little bit. Uh, we'll do a sign here so I know where the entrance is and then uh, dirt and dirt. But anyways, I've seen quite a few comments asking me about why I place kelp when I do these things and I'm placing kelp here before I put the soul sand in because if I put the soul sand in, then the, uh, the bubble column wouldn't actually be activated. Sure, we have a lot of water in here, but on Java Edition, you, you need to make water sources, not just water flowing blocks. On Bedrock, it's completely different. You can just place uh, soul sand and the thing will work, but unfortunately, we're on Java, not Bedrock. So there we go, we have that. Now, I mean, it looked like the items would make it all the way into the elevator. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Usually, well, you know what we'll do? Just to be safe, we'll place a sign there and then we'll do another water bucket right after that sign. And that is boom, just like that. So now items will definitely be moved over into our bubble column and then moved up. So that's good. Now the items are being or will be being moved up to that point right there. Now from there we actually need to kind of do the same thing again in a way. Uh, after this part, now we need to create um, like an ice path that goes over this way and over into our item storage system. So the storage system I think can start probably right. Um, I mean, really, we could start it right here um, with like hoppers and stuff. Because uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking about this now, right? And this isn't going to be symmetrical necessarily because I wanted to do like maybe like one, two, three things, or maybe we'll do two for each one, like maybe two gunpowder, two, two bone string. And yeah, it's just going to go past this thing. <laughs> um, hmm. Um, is it a problem? You know, I gotta, I gotta, uh, hold on. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have two gunpowder, two string, two bones, two arrows, two rotten flesh, and then the random overflow chest. I think that's everything, so how bad is it? Uh, oh, oh, it's only one off, which, which isn't bad, because I think this one starts, oh... Oh, okay, it's two, it, it's two off. Mm. Is that a big deal? No, I don't think so because it, it's fine. <laughs> it, it's not a big deal because I said so, so we're gonna just kind of go ahead with it. it it's cool. Uh, now I actually need to go ahead and remove all these chests and make a lot of hoppers, like, like a lot. We need many. <laughs> uh, no specific amount for this step, just, just like many. Well, here, in fact, for each chest that we need, we, we need two hoppers, actually. So, yes, yeah, specific amount. That means we need 22 hoppers plus a bunch of chests as well. Uh, am I going to have to take a... Why do I keep hearing skeletons, by the way? Are they shooting right as they fall? I think that's what they're doing. Oh. 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 Yeah. Uh, don't use the dispenser if, you're ha if you have arrows. Um... It is literally shooting the arrows. That's the problem. Make a dropper. Do a do a dropper. Droppers are nice, and they, they won't do that to you. So, yeah. Um, they're cheaper, too. You need, you need a bow for a dispenser. No bow for the dropper. 
And now it is finally time. Uh, unfortunately, well, but fortunately, it's good, but uh, but it's also bad. But it's not really bad at all. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna dig into the iron farm, take some iron out of this thing, which it should have. Yes, it does have a little bit more than we saw last time, so that's good. And that is exactly why this project has made no progress until today. I was waiting for the iron from the the iron farm. That's a very important step. Okay, okay. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it to him. The non-symmetry was really bothering me, and I want this build to look really, really good. So I went ahead and took this water line out and moved it, like changed it, so it would go over a little farther and then go up still and be more symmetrical. So now the auto sorting business. Um, what do we do here? What's going on? Well, first things first, we have our whole water stream going over to where we need it to go now. Now we need lots and lots of, of hoppers. This is where all of this stuff comes in. Now the placement of your hoppers in this part is very, very important. If you don't get this right, then it's not going to work. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is have like your ice stream going over to your hoppers and then your hoppers need to be placed facing forwards, not into a chest, but I just have these here for now. So I'm going to use them, uh, but placing forward. So make sure the bottom lower part of your hopper looks like that. Now, after that row of hoppers, you need another row of hoppers below it. This time, however, the lower hoppers can actually go into a chest and they should. So your top row of hoppers have zero chests whatsoever. This top row of hoppers is basically acting as your your sorting system. The, the hoppers that are going to pick up the correct items and let the non-correct items like move over them. So for example, let's say I was storing, you know, like bones, arrows, uh, rotten flesh, and gunpowder. Uh, once we get our whole sorting system in, these hoppers would only pick up those items and then something random like say string would go right over these hoppers and move on to the next one. So that's really how the hopper should be placed and how that's kind of working. Now we do need a redstone circuit on this thing, but before we do that, we actually need to talk about uh, placing some water in here too. So this is all good and all, and, and it, it'll work once we get it in, but we also need to, to have water actually move across these hoppers so we can continue to move the items that aren't being picked up right over these hoppers. Now, technically, you could be doing this with, like, another row of hoppers. You wouldn't really need to just do, like, a water stream, and the other row of hoppers would be maybe even a little more efficient at least when it comes to items getting caught in hoppers. With this method that we are using, some items will actually get caught in the hopper's hitbox, and that's one of those things where it's kind of like, it is what it is. Like, if we lose a little bit of items on some of these hoppers, because hoppers actually kind of sink down a little bit, uh, again, it'll just kind of be what it is. It's not obviously ideal, but I, even though I have an iron farm, I don't want to use a million iron on this thing. I just, I, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, so basically, we want to position our water streams going across these hoppers so then we can place a sign uh, like over some ice and then even more water. If, if we don't have this set up correctly and we end up with a sign over a hopper, the, the items will not continue to move. Ice is slidey, hoppers are not slidey. So... Uh, we need to have our line go all the way over to here. This is the last bit of where our hoppers go. And remember, these chests aren't uh, in the right spot. So, so yeah, I'll fix that. But, yep, this looks all good now. So now I need a border, which for now is stone brick. I, you know what? Um, should I use something better looking? Mm, oh, yes, definitely, because we can't open that. I need glass. Glass is the way. Totally just realized that I wouldn't technically need glass. I forgot to move these chests down, so I guess glass isn't necessarily the way, but it's going to be the way anyways. I think it'll look way better than than the stone brick on this thing. Uh, so yeah, glass it is. Okay, so now I have my glass in on the back of the stone brick because that's fine. I don't really want glass on the back and then we'll see the dirt. Uh, and the water goes all the way across, so now it's time to talk about setting up a circuit and to actually like lock these hoppers. Now, to make the circuit, you will need one comparator, three redstone dust, one repeater, and then actually a redstone torch as well. Now, to be clear, that is for one single hopper locking thing, now, not all of them. 
So to start, we need to create uh, like a little bit of a block formation for our redstone to be on. You'll need a little bit of space for this. Place one block coming off of your lower hopper, then another one, then another one. In the middle, place a block kind of going down, and then after that, well, I guess like behind it, place a block there, and then finally a block there. So you end up with this shape. It's like a T and then, then I guess two diagonals. Now uh, we need to place a comparator and then a dust, a dust, and a dust. Then down here in that lower, I guess, area, place a repeater going forwards like that. And then last but not least, a, a, a torch, a singular redstone torch. Um, let me out of here. <laughs> uh, so it looks like this, something just exactly like that. Now, the nice thing about this uh, the circuit or this design here is the fact that you can tile this over and over and over again as many times as you need, and those tiles can be right next to each other, which is actually going to be our case. So I have a section of four here, then a section of three, and then a section of four again over here. That means I need to create what I just did over and over and over and over again until I have all of my chests all... I guess finished. So there's actually an easier way to do this. Basically what you want to do, at least when I do it, is start down low and place your repeaters all going forwards. After that, turn around, place all of your other building blocks and then get a bunch of redstone dust in there, right? Like that. Then go ahead and uh, fill in all of your other blocks. So that whole T shape like that and then now we need comparators which that can be the tricky part in all honesty if you have your water in here first so maybe maybe we'll go ahead and just cut our water off and make that stop for a little bit so i can do that i guess i kind of forgot about that so we'll do that and then we can break these uh-huh comparators nice and then dust all in here filling everything in and then last but not least don't forget about these torches too there we go so that's good that's one area hooked up and good to go now i need to repeat it there and there Okay, well, I have everything all wired up and we're good to go. This comparator is on because there's an item inside of there. Now we need to actually talk about locking these hoppers. So actually putting items back inside of those hoppers. To do this, you are going to need 41 of whatever item you're trying to sort. So uh, what do we want to start with? Do we want to start with bone? I, it doesn't really matter. Um... I, I know I want to have this chest on the end for reasons. Uh, that's the random one. Um, let's start with zombie flesh, just just because why not? So we need the zombie flesh, and then we actually need some placeholder blocks. Uh, in terms of an amount, I think you'll need five placeholder blocks total. So inside of this this first hopper here uh, as the items get picked up because <laughs> it's linked up uh but inside of the first hopper we need to place 41 of whatever item we want sorted and then some placeholders so placeholders 41. now anytime a rotten flesh moves over that first one it should be funneled down into this chest so we'll clear the chest out test it again rotten flesh there you go you're picked up and put into there now other things let's see if um like bones come by other things should basically yep you pass right over and move over into the next area so that's how that all works now we are going to have two rotten flesh and then like two string and then like two and two and two and two for everything because we have a lot of things and stuff will fill up very very quickly but there's another way that you can do this too you can actually expand this thing downward so uh we're gonna do that in a minute but basically i can keep making more and more chests going down towards the ground so you don't need to do this whole doubling up thing it's just kind of how i'd like to do it so I'll go ahead and lock another hopper just to show you here. So we need 41. This is <laughs> the hard part. I try and like split stacks and be and be clever, but it doesn't work. No, so 41, there we go. So that is locked as well. And in the future, we should notice nothing but rotten flesh moving into this chest and into this second one. 
Now, what should your placeholder blocks be? That's kind of an important thing. Your placeholder blocks should be blocks that will never go across this sorting system. I will never have cobblestone slabs, I guess, unless I break those platforms and move across this sorting system. So those are my placeholders. If I started to throw cobblestone slabs into this thing, it could all get messed up. So yeah, make sure your placeholder blocks are blocks that aren't in your sorting system at all. But there we go, so that's all set up. Now we should only notice uh, string, go into those ones, and then again, rotten flesh there. So now random items should be moved all the way down here. And by the way, in case I didn't make it clear enough, your sorting is in the top hopper, not, not the lower one that's going into a chest, it's in the hopper that does not go into anything at all if you do it in the other hopper then it, it, it won't work it's it's your item should probably move instantly into your chest also again your hoppers need to be placed facing the right way or it's also not going to work okay so gunpowder is the last hopper that i'm locking finally last but not least we have this random runoff like excess overflow chest what do we do with that one well actually we do nothing we will not lock this hopper we will not put anything in the hopper we'll leave it alone just like that that means technically we don't even need this final circuit here because the circuit will actually hold things inside of this hopper and we don't really want that so we'll go ahead and rip the circuit out in a minute but other than that everything else is locked up doubled up with um, each item and ingredient so now i need to basically expand this thing and items are i th think being oh that's right that's right no items aren't even being completely sent over here yet we need to fix that i almost forgot so we have items funneling into this chest still and that is not desired anymore which means we need to replace our hoppers to have them all go to these droppers now and then we need to make sure we have a solid wall in here so items don't get thrown up onto this but it is time for me to go ahead and reposition, reconfigure all of these hoppers to go into this corner here and the other, oh, okay, good. Uh, and the other corner and send everything off to our new storage system. So wish me luck. Hopefully I can figure it out. I, I believe in myself. <laughs> and then I'm going to kind of expand the storage a little bit too, because it is way too small right now. That would fill up like instantly. So we have an amazing great great gamble to make here with with the all things terracotta. Um I need more decorative blocks for the build that I'm working on, and I don't remember if these uh, glazed terracotta blocks are are good. So we're going to do this. We place one, we run over here really, really quick and empty the inventory by one. <laughs> then we run back over here, right? We, we wait for this to finish to see if we like it. Uh, yeah, that one's kind of cool. Actually, this one, uh, wow, that's really cool. That might be the one. Uh, do I even want to check more? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, we need this, and now we run over here and, and check it. Orange, ooh, um, it's okay. Um, hmm, uh, yeah, I could be doing this in a creative world for free, like just placing blocks down, but that's not as fun. Uh, boom, okay, so white glazed terracotta looks pretty good too. Uh, what do we, uh, we can probably get one more in here. Uh, how about brown? We didn't do brown yet. Um, what is brown terracotta? Oh, we could probably get a lot more in here. Uh, yellow is cool, but not probably it. What else did we not do? We didn't do green. Green. <laughs> uh, this is the most thrill Minecraft has ever given me. Boom. And now brown. We're just creating like a palette here, basically. Brown, will, or the green will be the last one. And then we'll we'll pick our favorite off of all of these. I think I already know which one I like the most, though. Um, yeah, I think this is going to match the ice the best out of the ones that we have here. The yellow is cool, too, though. Uh, and this one's kind of okay. But you know what? We're going to make more of this stuff. So what is... 
Uh, this is light gray. Okay, so light gray for for the build. We're finishing things up here and making things look pretty. And yeah, glazed terracotta. I thought glazed terracotta would be really cool. This is actually going to be the first time I think I'm using this stuff in survival. It was added so long ago, but I never got around to it. Um, how could I do it? I, I just, I don't know. I thought I heard you walking. <laughs> uh, you have to sit there though because it's dangerous over here. So I did go ahead and expand the storage uh, potential ca capabilities, the the amount of things this thing can hold by like a lot. So each section has two chests and it goes three chests down. Now, if you'd like to expand your, your thing here, it's very easy to do. All you need to do is uh, place a uh, like more hoppers coming off of your hopper string here and have those hoppers go into chests So that's exactly what I did and it is exactly working how I exactly thought it would which is amazing so uh, Time to take this out time to throw this in and realize I don't have enough coal here mm -hmm. and Yeah, kind of just wait for that to fill in because I think we could fill in these gaps with that stuff. That would look cool. And then maybe like above the chest to kind of fully close things in, we could do um, like spruce slabs, right? Like like that. So we can still open them. And then I don't really know for the rest of the build and, and really what I want to do. I wanted to do something with quartz though. So I kind of put these wood blocks in as placeholders and then was sort of kind of planning on coming back in and taking these dark oak beams out they look good but they don't really like match this and i thought oh i could do the the pillars uh, with quartz in between but then we have a lot of like up and down looking textures and i thought the terracotta honestly would look a little bit cooler a little bit more fun so yeah i could empty all of these into there but that would not be smart because these are like full chests so what i think i'm going to do is move maybe these over to somewhere else just at least to get it out of the way for today and we'll create like an excess mob loot storage we can move it over to storage city but then we'd fill the storage city with mob loot because we're just going to get more and more of this stuff so i think we'll need like overflow mob storage over here too sometime soon probably not today for now it just needs to get out of the way oh <laughs> um that sounded violent so just a little bit more messing around with things. Now it's entirely visual. Just trying to get a face on this build. And then I think that is where we will call it for the day. I don't plan on doing too much more to this thing. And we actually are kind of low on quartz. I have all of this that I need to fortune, but wow. Uh, but yeah, so we'll we'll finish up a little bit more with this build. And then, and then I think we're at a good spot to, to wrap up and come back to it soon. I, I promise <laughs> to make it look really really good but how do we place this stuff uh that's not it no um hmm see i know we're working with like a two by oh that's it that's it mm -hmm. that's what i wanted i wanted this stuff to go no uh <laughs> i want the pattern the the round thing to go towards the, the middle here um i i don't know why i made so much of this stuff too by the way um, because I have, like, um, I'm never going to use all this. Okay, so, the final showcase for today. Here's what I came up with down here for, I guess, our item exiting system. Got it nice and pretty, crazy patterns, figured out how to match them up, and, uh, then they go over and up there into our beautiful, beautiful storage system. So, again, two sections for each, uh, item everything's labeled along the top and then overflow random things all the way down here on the end and up here too <laughs> so um that's how all of this works and i don't think there's any more explanation needed on it maybe uh, it looks good for now we definitely need to create some kind of overflow storage thing, which maybe we'll do next episode, just kind of finish this whole area up. I have a really cool idea, but I I guess I I guess we'll see. 
But it is that time of the day. Let's go ahead and see what the comment section has for me today in episode 82. Which, by the way, sounds crazy. Like, that's a lot of episodes. But anyways, uh, today's comment is from Spyditterman. The comment reads, I wish you could put Silk Touch on a sword so when you kill something, you get the spawn egg off of that thing. It would make moving zombies and villagers a lot easier. And, oh boy, that's a really actually like interesting concept uh i would do it with like a completely different enchantment maybe a treasure enchantment like mending that's super rare and maybe i, I don't know it's like silk touch too <laughs> i don't know it's something special for the sword but i think that's a really cool idea it would definitely change how survival kind of works in a way because then players could kind of collect up spawn eggs and yeah, really be able to move creatures around so maybe it's like a really rare enchantment but i think that's a really really neat idea and by the way to tie things over to the end of last episode now uh these turtles did end up laying an egg or two eggs actually and i moved them into here so i i think i need to do some afking maybe in between episodes this time and test our storage system out and also sort of i guess just let turtle eggs hatch and things like that so uh that's just about it for today today i'd like to send a special special thank you to ground crazy may thank you for your support may i really really appreciate it hey, if you'd like to have your own fancy episode dedication slide over to my patreon link down below lots of other cool benefits like a server and if you don't want to do a monthly thing then maybe grab some merch you look cool doing so as well so yeah. <laughs> My name is Waddles. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, gamers.